Hello, it's Mr. Baumgarten with the next in my series of videos on using the Python imaging library. Uh, so if I just cr create a new file in my VS code and straight away I'm going to go to file, save as, and just give this a name, demo.py. Make sure it ends with a .py so that code recognizes it, it, it as a Python file which we can tell it has because down the bottom it now says Python 3.8. So where were we at at the end of the previous lesson? You had the camera working, hopefully taking your photo. So if I say from pill import image, and then I also import the image tools. Now, just for those who have come across this video from uh, YouTube and haven't, uh, watch the previous video. This is the pillow library from Python that we have installed here. And this is the image tools made easy library, which just simplifies the process of using the camera uh, and uh, doing the facial recognition that will, will come up in a later video. So to quickly take a photo using the camera, I create a camera object variable and I use image tools dot camera with a capital C in this part, open close parentheses. And then I create a variable. So I'm just going to call it photo. Uh, so camera, take a photo, take underscore photo. Oops. Uh, and then I can show it. So photo dot photo dot show. Oh, oh, come on. Sorry. Okay. And it, so if I run this, save uh, run Python in terminal and say cheese. <laughs> okay, I get lovely cheesy photo. All right, so that works. And I can also do my photo.save and give it a, a you know, picture.jpg. Okay, and so that's going to save my photo. So that's where we were at the end of the last lesson. What do we want to do in today's lesson? We are going to uh, do some cropping, do some resizing, uh, and rotate our images. Uh, and if we have time, we will paste one image into another. So let's, let's start by the crop. So I had, um, to be able to crop the photo, I probably need to know the size and dimensions of the photo. Uh, and as we remember from last lesson, I can create a width and a height variable uh, by taking my image variable and just saying, putting in a dot size on the end of that. And so if I now print my width and my height, uh, this will, all right, there we go. Uh, this will now print out down the bottom here, 1280 by 720. So if I want to crop that to my head uh, and crop out some of the background, how would I go about doing that? Uh, this is 1280 by 720. Okay, and my X value increases as I go across and my Y value increases as I go down. So if, if my mugshot face is appearing kind of in the middle here, all right, uh, maybe I want to crop out, maybe I just want like that center third of the photo. And so I want to get rid of this part of the photo and I want to get rid of this part of the photo. All right, how would I go about doing that? So if this X value comes all the way to 1280, uh, I need one third of 1280, which is, so that's going to be about 400 and uh, let's just go for 425, keep it round numbers. All right, and then this one here, the 1280, if I come back 425, so it's not going to be a perfect one third um, because one third doesn't go into 1280 anyway. Uh, so if I do 1280 uh, minus the, my, four, my 425, uh, this boundary point here will be 855. And so I'm gonna end up with a photo that's gonna be 430 wide uh, by 720 high. So let's figure out how to do that. If I come back into my code, all right, so I'm going to create a, another image variable uh, with my cropping. 
So I could call this cropped photo, okay? It, you can call it whatever you want, it's entirely up to you. Uh, but then I'm gonna take my photo and I'm gonna crop it. And I need to put in here, uh, so double parentheses, and what are the crop boundaries that I want? So the X value, the X and Y value of the top left corner, and then the X and Y value of the bottom right corner. All right, so uh, that X value to start with is going to be 425, and the Y value is going to be zero, and then the finishing value for the X will be 855, and that Y value will be 720. Uh, and so now if I then take my cropped photo and show that on screen, uh, so I can get rid of all this, and maybe I'll also save my cropped photo. Cropped.jpg, uh, let's just make that a lock, I see. Okay, and run this. There we go, it has taken off those edges. Uh, but now I've decided, actually that photo is quite large, so let's resize this, let's shrink it down a bit. So resized photo, uh, I can take any photo, so I can take my original one here, or I can take my cropped photo, and I can just resize any of them, so just by using their name. So cropped photo dot resize, and I just give it the new, so again double parentheses, the new dimensions in terms of width and height. So if the original photo was of, well, the, the cropped photo at the moment, if I print that out, all right, cropped photo dot size. I can actually just go straight to the dot size when I'm printing it. Um, and I'll just comment this out so I can demonstrate the printout of this. But that should be 430 by 720. Okay, um, yeah, 430 by 720. So say if I want to halve that for my resized photo, so half of 430 is 215, and half of 720 is 360. All right, and then I can just do resized photo dot show. All right, and I'll stop showing the other one instead. And now, Okay, there I am, half the size. All right, so resizing is nice and, cropping is nice and easy, resizing is nice and easy. Uh, and then maybe the last thing to quickly show you is a rotation. So rotated photo. Uh, let's take my resized one and rotate that. and you just put in the number of degrees you want to rotate it. So if I rotate that 45 degrees, what is that going to do? All right, so instead of showing the resize one, let's rotate rotated photo dot show. Let's show this one on screen instead. Okay, <laughs> so you can see it has kept the dimensions of the original the same and rotated and chopped out uh, the sides uh, or yeah these corners so if I want to resize the, the containing image so that I can still get my full original photo I can do that uh, by coming up into into my rotate command and I just put in here expand equals true and we'll see that it will enlarge the box to be able to fit the rotation there we go, so I now have a, I have a large black box uh, for the rotation. And I can set this fill color, it doesn't have to be black. I can set uh, fill color uh, to any RGB color code. So if I wanted to make it um, red, it would look like this, there we go. Ooh. Uh, and so that resizes uh, as, and then rotates. Finally, the last thing is, let, you know, let's create a blank image and add something to it. So if I, a, a blank photo, uh, this is just an image.new command. Uh, and I'm gonna say that I wanna make it an RGB 
image. Uh, so red, green, blue will be the color scheme. And let's make this, I don't know, 1024 by uh, 768. That's a fairly common ratio. You can make yours whatever sizes you want. All right, in fact, let's just, for the, for the sake of being different, let's just make this 1000 by 1000. Oops. All right, and now I can just do blank dot show and I will get this big empty photo appear um, after the rotation one. Uh, where are we? Size must be a tuple. Ah, yes. So what I missed here is this must be in your size dimensions need to be in, in their own set of round brackets. That's what that arrow there is meaning. Size must be a tuple means it has to be inside a set of brackets. Let's close this down. Okay. So now if I open that, I've got that one. And then there's my big 1000 by 1000 black square. Uh, and I can start pasting. I can paste the different images into this if I want. So I can have my blank. Uh, do, 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 do. So I can take my, my blank photo and paste in uh, my rotated photo. Uh, and I might want to paste that in to the top left corner, so zero, zero. And I can take my blank photo and paste into it my resized photo. And I might uh, shift that to say X being 500 and Y zero. So uh, it appears at the top, but halfway across. And let's just do blank dot show so you can see what that will do. Uh, okay. So there we go, um, I have my blank. So I've got my rotated photo, I've got my resized photo. And so the way that these work is if, if I'm pasting one photo on top of another, the, the it'll go in order that you run the commands. So for instance, if I was to paste in my original larger photo, which was just called photo, and say if I put that at zero, zero, all right, that is gonna cover over my rotated and resized image in this. Um, all right, like that. Let's get rid of this other show command. It keeps popping up. Uh, but So if I want my rotated and resized to appear on top of the photo, the original large photo, I can take that and just put it in that order there. So I've got my large photo and then I'm pasting the rotated photo after that, and then I'm pasting the resized one after that. And so that will give me something like that. All right, there's the original, there's the rotated, and there is um, the resized. Oh, what I don't have up there is the crop, uh, but I think you get the idea of how that works. Okay, so we've covered quite a few things uh, fairly quickly in this little video. Uh, we have cropping, we have resizing, we have rotating, and we, ha we have creating a new image and we have pasting of images. So have fun experimenting with all of that. Uh, I look forward to seeing what creative things you come up with. This is Mr. Baumgarten signing out.